My name is Dave Moss. I spend approximately 200 days a year at racetracks all over the country, helping professional and amateur road racers and track day riders with suspension tuning on their motorcycles. This is Two Clicks Out. Hey, okay, so you, you're just going off what was told, put him here to start, yeah. correct? Yeah. All right, so the back of the bike is rigid. Okay. All right, now the other part is you've got a really long wheelbase here. Okay. And we don't have the adjustability of an aftermarket shock. So, all right, Great. bike's all yours. Thanks so much. See you in an hour. Clutch. So first check is tire temperature. You're actually getting some cold tears here. Ah. All right, so overall a big step up. Yeah. Now if we can get the tire to hook up and get hot. Yeah, it was better. It was better. Okay, yeah. so now we've got to figure out, can we make it better by either changing the way the bike's set up or change the pitch of the, the chassis front and rear. And that's a long way in for this particular shock. So that should bring it to here. And if you do, then seven, is good, which means the exit of nine is better, which means the exit of 11 is better, one is better, two is better. The fast side of the tire is fine, the cold side of the tire is cold tearing. And there, you can still see the cold tear is still there. All the way on the tire, and all the way around. Saying about what you're saying, coming out of the carousel and being able to pull a little bit tighter. Yeah. So that works, so yeah. now you have more precision? Yeah. Okay. That left and right, is that still a fight? Yeah, yeah, the, the left particularly. 